Hi, everybody. This is Ethel Merman. It's a pleasure to be here today, and I hope I can answer all those questions you've got ready to throw at me. Uh, by the way, before we begin, my new album for Decca called uh, Memories has just been released. I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, I'm ready, so start throwing. Uh, well, as far as the shows are concerned, I think that the, the musical that remains most memorable to me uh, is um, Girl Crazy. That's the, the first show that I ever did on Broadway in 1930. And um, George Gershwin wrote the score, and I had a wonderful song to sing uh, called I Got Rhythm. I had a few songs, as a matter of fact, but that was the big hit for me, and which really started me on my career. And since then, I've done a number of wonderful shows. And I would say then that um, uh, as far as the succeeding shows are concerned, it might be Annie or uh, Call Me Madam. Annie for the wonderful character of Annie Oakley and Call Me Madam for the beautiful Mambouche clothes. Uh, no, I have never had a singing lesson in my life. And uh, my good friend, George Gershwin, uh, once told me, uh, Ethel, never go near a singing teacher because if you do, uh, you'll become conscious of your breathing and uh, the movement of the diaphragm. And he said, you do all right now, so let's keep it that way. And I've always remembered what he told me and I have never had a singing lesson in my life. I, um, I must say that right now, it's because of my domestic setup, I, I live in Denver and uh, my home is there, and uh, I sort of confine my work to uh, Los Angeles, my TV shows, even my uh, DECA recordings I do from there, because um, I have no plans, no immediate plans for a Broadway musical. Uh, they have been offered to me, and I've had to very graciously turn them down, because um, being happily married right now, I can't see coming back to Broadway and spending two years here when my home and my family are in Denver. As far as TV is concerned, I think it's here to stay. I think it's a wonderful medium and uh, reaches so many people just in one shot. Of course, the live shows uh, require quite a bit of tension. Every show is an opening night. Once you're on, brother, you're on, and you just can't make a mistake. But I enjoy doing TV very much. Oh, I don't know, as far as the songs are concerned, uh, the songs that are being written today, I think um, we have just as many great songs uh, that composers are uh, giving us. I don't think it's a question of time or, or era or year. It could be any time. There will always be great songs written, and there's always room for uh, another great composer. Of course... Mr. Irving Berlin and Mr. Cole Porter, I imagine they'll go on writing songs just as long as they want to because uh, um, they are just so great that uh, I don't think they can even top themselves. They've done such wonderful things. Yeah, how about that um, Memories album? This, was, uh, this idea was conceived by Mr. Simon Rady of um, Decca Records. And... Um, he suggested the idea to me, and I thought it was great. This is an album of 40 old-time songs. And, uh, well, as we say, uh, from the gay 90s to the roaring 20s, with various musical backgrounds, whatever the particular song calls for, whether it's a Dixieland jazz session or a hurdy-gurdy background for East Side, West Side, I think you'll enjoy it. It's a very, very amusing and entertaining album. Yes, I have a, another album coming out very shortly. It's a um, musical biography of Ethel Merman. And I was very honored and very flattered and very pleased uh, to say yes when the, the DECA people asked me to do this. I think you'll enjoy this one, too. It's a little bit longer, but uh, it's good listening. Well, it certainly was nice spending these few moments here, and I hope you'll invite me again. Bye, everybody. <laughs>